Don't overdo your journey to be more present to the moment, to being happy, to being enlightened, to Eckhart Tolleness, spirituality-ness. There's a whole lot of different ways you can you can call it. I'll just call it your meditation journey. You know, some people understand what I mean by don't overdo your journey of just being too present to the moment. And what do I really mean by that? This is a very conflicting idea, though there is definitely a mistake I see get made here. And I'm saying this because I've made this mistake myself. I've literally watched myself make this mistake. So I'm making this video so that you don't make the same mistake. And it's very like ironic for me because I've heard a lot of other people talk about how people make the same mistake. And you know, I've seen it so many different ways and then I end up doing it myself. And what am I kind of talking about? Is if you watch a guy like Eckhart Tolle, right? If you never heard of him, basically he's this really huge famous spiritual teacher right now teaches you how to be present to the moment and how to be more happy and fulfilled in your life now why can you why why can you overdo this how can you overdo this what do i really mean why am i trying to give you a warning right now about this is if you take it too far which you can you may forget to do practical daily things in your life that you should be doing now there's some definitely like a huge conflict and a lot of irony in this is that the whole point of learning the spirituality and being more present in the moment is so that you can be happier wherever you are in your life no matter what you're doing and not be dependent that all your situations are the way you need them to be which is definitely very useful you know you don't have to be dependent on other people around you to make you happy you don't have to be dependent on living where you want to live, driving the car you want to drive, dating the people you want to date, having the friends you want to have, you know, eating the food you want to eat, looking the way you want to look, kind of teaches you how to separate from all these things and just to learn to a pure, true inner happiness within yourself. And this is definitely very good, very useful because you could find yourself in a situation where you have everything you want, everything you could imagine you want, and there's people out there, trust me, just like this, and you go find them, but for some reason you're still not happy. And just trying to think about that for a moment. Is there anyone you know who has everything you want, but they're not actually happy? And don't like buy into this like stuff you see on the internet, on the news, on social media, whatever you watch where these people look really happy in their lives, but they're just putting on this face for that photo or for that video. And they're trying to even, even sometimes it's just advertisers trying to sell you a product or these people just want you to think they have the life that they really just don't have. So, yeah, so that's kind of gives you a brief explanation of uh, the point of being more present to the moment. You know, I definitely have videos on meditating, on being more present to the moment. Even actually, uh, yeah, the last video I did was actually, actually about uh, facing your fear so that, because in, in the moment you're facing your fear, you suddenly get thrown into the serious deep alignment, present to the moment, and it's such a freeing feeling. Though there's also a problem, if there, there's also, there's a problem where some people take this too far, too literal, too serious, and they, they get to a point where they think that all they need to do in their life is meditate. All they need to do in their life is be present in the moment. All they need to do in their life is appreciate what they have and where they are. And this gets taken too far because it's, you don't <laughs> have finances together. You know, this is, this is a very conflicting idea and I just, I love the way uh, Grant Cardone puts it, is that all the Tony Robbins seminars in the world aren't necessarily gonna help you when you're still broke. And he says, like, he's like seeing this himself in his own life, that um, he'll be really, really happy and enjoying his life, but the moment he gets a bill, he'll start cringing and contracting and it doesn't feel good. And it's like, I don't wanna say, you don't need to be rich so that you can be happy Though we unfortunately, like the reality of the world that we live in, is you need to be able to take care of yourself. And not only yourself, it's really good to also be able to take care of other people. It's, I mean, very easy for you to want to just take care of your parents as they get older, perhaps help out your siblings, maybe your friends, though friends is a little bit more tricky scenario if you want to help them or not. You know, that kind of depends on you because you don't want to end up in a position where everyone's just taking advantage of you. And that's a goal for your family too. You don't want to end up in a position where your friends or family are just using you. Though it definitely feels good to be able to help them when you can. And yeah, granted, you don't need to be rich so you can do this. Though you at least need to have more than enough food on your table so you can share. More than enough food on your table you can give. And 
like the trap kind of falls in that if you may get stuck trying so hard to just be more present to the moment more just happy and enjoying and appreciating life that you forget that you actually still need to do things in your life and a lot of people you know they read this law of attraction type of thing i honestly think the law of attraction is perhaps one of the most dangerous concepts god i'm sorry i'm like staring at my face i run the I feel like I think I look so oily, but I, because I know I moisturize. I don't know how I look oily in the camera. I've been staring at my face the whole time. So yeah, the law of attraction, I think, is one of the most dangerous, honestly, concepts. While I'm not denying whether it exists or not, I definitely believe you can attract things into your life. I definitely believe you have an energy that you give off. You can change and alter your energy, and this could draw things into your life or push things away from your life. I'm not denying the concepts, but I think it gets taken too far where people think that all they need to do is sit somewhere, meditate, or think about what they want in their life, and it's just going to come to them. And they kind of miss the whole like idea that, as, as uh, Ty Lopez put it really well, is uh, you need to plant seeds... So it, uh, let's see, in the springtime, so that in the summertime, your seeds can grow. I don't know, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a farmer, I don't know the exact term, season. I don't know, maybe it's fall, you, pl you, pl you, pick, your, you pick your plants, I don't know if you pick it at fall, the summer, but you need to plant your seeds so you can grow. And like a guy like Eckhart Tolle, I think is an amazing example. He is just like, he's not like the founder of all these principles, but in today's modern time, He's one of the biggest teachers on being present to the moment, being, you know, calm, not overthinking, not having all this anxiety and stress and just really enjoying your life as it is. He's one of the biggest modern teachers on the subject, though a lot of people who, who, who uh, take his work completely miss out on the fact that he probably works more than they do in a very ironic sense. He's writing several books, very long, I don't know how long he took to write these books he's doing seminars actual live events all the time ones that he hosts himself ones that other people invite him to like i remember he talked about one of his videos that he's just known for being a guy who was always late a lot because he has so much that he has to get done you know people want him to do do something for this project that they're doing got people calling him trying to contact him because they want him to speak or maybe do a video or say something on their project or on something that they're doing you know add to what they're doing so you know and then he's also doing his own his own stuff and he just he got known for being late a lot because he just really can't keep up with all the stuff that he's doing and this is something that a lot of people miss like even like the person who wrote the law of attraction books you know or the master key system whichever one you want to read they had to sit down and write that book and that's just really kind of what the point that I want to make on this video, guys, is to not take your presence, your meditation, your enlightenment journey, whatever term you want to use, you know, don't take it too far. Don't take it too literal. Yes, I do believe you should still sit down, try to meditate as often as you can, try to appreciate what you have, try to be present to the moment. Though I don't honestly believe like you just go to a mountain somewhere and you sit there and then for some reason like you know millions of dollars are going to appear in your bank account whether you want that or not you know i don't know what is it you want is is oh if all you really want to do is truly just be alone by yourself in a mountain then you can just do that you don't need a enlightenment meditation journey you could just go do it but chances are while you may not want to be rich you still would like to have your finances in good order you like to be able to take care of your family you know Perhaps you'd like to be able to buy them a nice house to live in. Maybe you'd like to buy, at least get them a nice apartment to live in. You want to send your kids to good schools. You don't necessarily want to spoil them, but you want to make sure they have enough of everything that they need. You know, you want to be a good provider to your family. You know, that's just kind of natural. And it's like, maybe you don't have to be rich. Though the unfortunate truth is um, meditation, alignment, journey is not going to make you rich. It sort of, I think it helps you. I'm not saying to not do it. It's going to give you more mental focus, more calmness, more clarity and peace of mind so you can make better decisions, have better judgment, 
have more time, have more energy. I do mean more time. You have more time, more energy to focus on giving back to your family, taking better care of them, you know, focus on doing better, performing better at work so you can keep your job, you can get promotions, you can move on, make better decisions so that you can decide, oh, you know, maybe I want to go start this business or maybe you're already in a business and you make better leadership decisions. And I truly do mean give you back more time. I've actually, there's an actual study that really believes meditation gives you back more time. And they studied this woman biologically and they, you know, I'm not the scientist, I don't make the study, but what this study was showing is that after five years of meditating, the woman biologically and scientifically seemed like she was younger than she actually was the first time they actually checked her health. So it's actually been shown that meditation is literally impossible. I mean, assuming you're not just sitting there driving yourself crazy and you're actually really meditating, getting more calm, more present in the moment, it actually makes you younger, happier, healthier, and it's gonna help you live longer, have more time, more energy, more clarity of mind. Though to use, really where I wanna put this video to wrap it up on, is to use that energy to go do something with your life. Don't just sit there. I mean, granted, if you already have everything you truly want, you already have everything you truly need, just a disclaimer, then maybe all you should do is meditate and keep doing what you're doing, whatever it is that's working for you, and maybe just try to do it even better, if you can, if you want to, if you need to. But maybe there is a scenario where you have everything you want, you have everything you need, and you should just watch meditation videos so you can learn to be how happy in your life and learn how to appreciate more. Though if you know you don't have everything you want and everything you need, don't, don't develop this one-sided mindset of, and on the other side too, just chasing success, 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 or just chasing being happy and present to the moment. It's not, it's not either one. You don't just wholeheartedly chase after being rich and successful because what could happen is you can get the success, but you won't be able to enjoy it. You won't be happy. You won't be present. You'll be stuck in this mode in your mind if you're always chasing things, you know? If you're always chasing something, then when you get that thing, what's gonna happen? You still have the same mindset. You're still the same person. You're gonna keep chasing other things and you never enjoy it and you never appreciate it. But if all you do is you appreciate and enjoy what you have, you'll never go off to do more in your life. And really, what does more in your life look like? To me, it looks like Go become the president of the United States. Go become Tony Robbins. Go help change people's lives. Just go, I don't know, if you want to be a priest, you know, go do something that truly, truly helps people. And it's like, you know, like not to like throw off the little guy. It's like, yeah, I do respect and appreciate that sometimes the little guys in a little ways do things that help people you know i've been a truck driver for years and being a truck driver does help people just help my community though i honestly feel like don't don't settle don't if you're if you're someone who's actually watching a video like this search a video like this sat and watch through a video like this don't settle for just being average and just being everyone else you know you don't want that from your life you know you want to go off and do everything you can do in your life and this video is just guidelines on how to get there Meditate, clarity of mind, better judgment, more time, more focus, and put that energy somewhere into something, honestly, that's just going to help you, help other people, or that you at least want to do. <sighs> Done.